Um, I had another cool experience where I was, I was at church one Sunday, and there was this really awesome young couple on the branch. Um, and by really awesome, I meant you could just see the potential, but they weren't all the way there in terms of act. You know, all the way they weren't all the way involved. They weren't all the way, you know, just fully involved in the church, I guess. And I just, I, I don't know why. I was sitting there in church looking at at the husband, and uh, his name is Max, and and I was looking at him, and I had this impression you need to go ask him what is why his testimony is not there and i thought that was a really bold thing to do and how i don't even hardly know this guy i hadn't talked to him a lot i'm just the, you know the geeky missionary <laughs> and uh anyways i went up after church this guy's a bodybuilder i mean like he's way cool you know and they're just an awesome young couple but i went up to him and i pulled him into a room i'm like hey max come here he's like what's up and i'm like I don't you tell me what's up man I I literally I all I know is that I have a really strong prompting to ask you what's wrong with your testimony right now and what what can I do to help you and he just broke down and he was just like how did you know like how did you know I've been struggling for so long um anyways him and his wife invited us over and she was about eight months pregnant at the time and I was worrying I, I wanted them to raise their you know they have such potential they're just starting their first kid and I I don't know, I could just see the potential. And so we went to their house, me and my companion, we taught them for the next couple of months and we just had awesome experiences with teaching them. And that we became so close. And and when I when it came time for me to leave, that was my last area of my mission. Uh, when it came time for me to leave, it was heartbreaking. Um, and I told him, I'm gonna Skype you guys when I get home. And he said, every missionary says that, Elder Leva, <laughs> doesn't happen. But we love you, and we're happy to have you. We're happy that you were here for a time, and uh, so I proved him wrong, and I've been skyping him ever since. And even just Sunday, two days ago, yesterday, I skyped him, and uh, they've had their kid. He's almost a year old now, and actually, he's more than a year old now. Um, but he just kind of he, again, he cried to me, and he was like, "Got you have been sent to us by God. You're the only person who's never really gone away." Uh, in terms of missionaries and things like that and and he was telling me about all the things he was struggling with again you know and he said I you know I these and these command commandments are hard for me right now <laughs> what do I do Elder Leva you know and, and so I was able to counsel with him and work through some things and we set some goals and he's ready to move forward and and get his temple recommend so that they can go be sealed in the temple finally because they they were not um, so anyways it was just cool. I love their family, and they love me, and and I, I still get to work with them, and I still get to help them reach things. And honestly, if I wasn't doing that, I don't know who would be, you know? So it needs to get done, and, and I just think loving people truly and making those relationships is what, is what saves people.